Well, some parts of New Jersey just cannot catch a break. Yeah, before residents had time to recover from the last storm, they were inundated with another. We have a live look from Skyfox HD overhead Passaic County, New Jersey. And even though the rain has stopped, one of the state's biggest rivers, the Passaic River, it's now starting to crest. Michelle Ross is live in Little Falls. That's where the governor is on hand just to see the situation for himself. Michelle, what's the very latest? Bianca, actually take a look at this water. This is coming from the Passaic River, and this is the work of four pump stations pumping out 80,000 gallons of water per minute. You can see the water slowly making its way down the street and even slowly going into this person's driveway. Now, these pumps are operating 24-7. They're not meant to operate 24-7, but the mayor, James uh, Damiano, said they need to leave them on so that the potential of residents' homes flooding again is lower. Now, Governor Phil Murphy took a quick tour of the neighborhood, the mayor pointed out an elevated home which suffered far less damage than the ground level houses. Murphy also talked about the resilience funding to help homeowners who are seriously impacted. $10 million will be used for residents who either want to elevate their homes or have their houses be bought out so they can relocate altogether to a safer place. This will minimize what feels like the never ending cycle of rebuilding while trying to be one step ahead getting out ahead of Mother Nature. We're getting dragged by Mother Nature, not just here in New Jersey, around the country, arguably around the world. Um, and so whether it's mitigation, resiliency programs, we've done a lot in the past six years, I'm proud of that, but boy, we, it's pretty clear we need to do a whole lot more. One long-term silver lining uh, is the Inflation Reduction Act has an enormous amount, billions of dollars, uh, of resiliency programs, and New Jersey is the most densely populated state in the country, uh, should be at or near the front of the class in terms of getting those, getting those dollars. And live look back here now, you can see my boot in the water here and just how strong the water is going into this drain coming from the Passaic River. Now, unfortunately, the worst may not be behind us. The Passaic River is expected to crest at about 10 feet at around 7 o'clock tonight. But as long as these pumps are moving and pumping, they hope to reduce that risk of flooding for these neighbors here. We're live in Little Falls, New Jersey. Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.